God's been in your life from the time you were little. Your grandpa was a preacher. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that and, and how you came to know the Lord. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in a Pentecostal church, and, uh, you know, so that's what I've always known. And, uh, you know, it's always been, you know, I've been a Christian my whole life, but I never really made it my own, I think, until I got... You know, I, I was in high school, of course. I mean, I, I was a Christian. I didn't do certain things, but it's really until I got to college, until I started being my own man, you know, to really take it on and, you know, make it mine. And, um, you know, God has blessed me tremendously to have both parents and a grandfather that was a pastor, and then I could grow up in that kind of family. And you had something else as a football player. Everybody remembers his big brother David being here and doing what he did with the Bulldogs 11 years ago now. To see him go through everything that he went through, becoming the number one pick in the draft and all that, I'm sure that's a big blessing for you. Were there challenges in that too? Did you ever say, man, I'm never going to be as good as my brother? Oh, no, I didn't think that. <laughs> <laughs> God blessed him with some confidence, huh? Uh, yeah, and, that's, and he would tell you the same exact thing. We compete uh -huh. no matter if it's, we're playing Madden, you know, if we're playing NBA 2K, whatever it is, you know, whatever. <laughs> We'll race in the backyard sometimes, quick story. Yeah, he had just built his new house in Bakersfield, and uh, you know, I, I started, I just had broke the Fresno State 40 yard dash record for quarterbacks, and I, I kind of made a comment like, didn't you go there too? And, uh, <laughs> and, and so, he, so he, he kind of said, all right, let's go in the backyard and race. And uh, so we went in the backyard, and everyone's out there, our whole family, we start running, we're right by each other. And we get to the, the wall is getting closer, and neither of us would stop. And we we ended up seriously hitting the wall and just bam, hitting it, dropping. And like we both got up. My mom was so mad at us, but we always competed at whatever it is. <laughs> well, God was definitely looking out for him there. Could have ended two careers in one fell swoop. Um, and now to be the quarterback at Fresno State. To, to have to wait your turn to play, just like your brother did, and now to have the coach that you've known practically your whole life fired, a new coach comes in, a new offense. How have you navigated all of that? Man, um, this is where I really think, you know, God has done work on my life. You know, I was probably, a, you know, when I first got to college, it's an eye-opener. You know, you think you know everything until you get there. And, uh, you know, get, coming out of high school, you know, I was All-American. You know, I got, um, you know, National Player of the Year for the private schools and all these kind of cool awards and all this. You know, I thought I was, you know, I thought I was ready. And, uh, you know, I got to college and Coach Hill, I sat me, sat me in his office. I've known him since I was a little boy. And uh, he sat me in his office first day and he's like, you know, you come out in spring ball, you you uh, you outplay him, you're, you're my starter. And... Um, you know, I went out there, competed, of course, as hard as I could. And in my mind, you know, you know, I, watching the film and everything, you know, I thought, oh man, this is for sure. You know, I was like, this is awesome. I can't wait. You know, my dreams are coming true. And uh, you know, it didn't work out that way. It wasn't. It wasn't God's time yet. And uh, you know, I had. He said, you know what? You're going to be the backup this year. And I remember sitting in that meeting room and just I started bawling because this is, you know. And so, it's, guys, it's all right to cry. You know, I've learned that, and seriously. And, uh, you know, I used to hold everything in, and it just anger would come out. And, uh, you know, but anyways, you know, I sat there, and it just it tore me up because my whole dream of everything, you know, wasn't to go to USC and Texas, you know, and Texas Tech, all these big, so-called big-name schools recruit me, UCLA and Cal. <laughs> which they beat me, so I can't say anything. Um, but, uh, you know, I wanted to be a bulldog. And so when I had to sit out that year, you know, it ripped me open, but it made me rely on God with everything in my heart. And I, I didn't know what that meant until that, until that year that I had to go through. And then the next year, I'm like, okay, I got a year under my belt. Man, I'm starting this one. You know, I can't wait. And uh, Coach Hill calls me into the office and said, okay, I'm going to redshirt you. I was like, <laughs> I was like, my goodness, hey, whatever, you know. And, uh, you know, at the time I wasn't happy, but, you know, I, I went home, I prayed, and God, God just put Jeremiah 29, 11 in my heart, in my head. And I got it from my grandfather before he passed away because I had no clue why it was happening. And, uh, you know, it's stuck with me ever since, and uh, I think it worked out all right last year. Control. But I'm sure everybody here wants to know what they can expect out of the Bulldogs in the fall. What are you excited about and what do you expect? I mean, you know me, I'm not going to make any predictions. You guys try and get me all the time. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, uh, 
I mean, you can expect a team that's going to go out there and play as hard as they can. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of talent on this football team. And, uh, you know, we were missing a lot of key guys last year for injuries and other reasons. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun year. You know, you know the, just the feelings God gives me when I talk about it is just, uh, you know, it, it excites me. And, uh, and you guys know from me, I'm going to do whatever I can, you know, to win the football game. And uh, each and every play, um, no matter what it is, if it's a run play, if it's a pass play, if I got to run it, I mean, I'm not the biggest guy, especially compared to some of those Nebraska linebackers. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, if you guys watch the games, you know, I'll try and run through them if I have to, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and what that is, it's nothing to do with me. It's just, you know, that's, God has given me such a talent, why waste it? And, um, you know, I'm very blessed to be on the stage and platform that I am in. And so if you guys can watch, you know, number four is going to go and do anything that he can to win that game.